practice this, that's a little bit easier to understand what you're on your back. You feel it. Oh, so I'm going to slide my left leg through, and my right leg comes over and under. Here. I don't want this right leg floating because it needs to give me stability. If you're here, you don't have balance. I want it here so I can wedge here and keep this heel at least in the mat as I pull his leg here <coughs> and I bring this up here. Sometimes you can push this here, but I am planting on here, but my knee's too high here. I'd rather have my knees here and my feet are pinching here, so I'm pinching, okay? And I'm pulling his top leg. <coughs> Even if his feet get crossed over the opposite way, okay? It's okay, okay? Because from here, I can begin to lean back. If you start cranking this right here, he will move himself out. Yeah. Let me go here, just so you control. Because you don't want him to pull anything out. That's why you pinch here. Can you pull anything out? Yeah. So even, even here, I can begin to crank it here, or, so what we did here is, here, here, I lean forward, because I don't want to do this. Because if you do this, his, he, his leg is almost free. When you're here, I lean forward, and then I pummel it in here, okay? So I can go here. My knees are pinching and twisting that way, so I can get this foot and pull it right in here. But this has to be pinching. If it's loose, it digs into my arm, and that doesn't feel very good. If I'm pinching down here, it's a whole bodily rotation. Now, what you're going to do here is <clears throat> screw over that way, same, same position. Walk your feet this way. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> so, just to enter, your right foot comes over, and I'm going to need to hook this because this right here. Is enabling me to keep sitting up. <clears throat> if this is relaxed, it's all core and you're losing power. Here, it's a hook. I grab thigh and leg, pull it in, and secure it here. Now I have his outside leg. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my outside arm here and I'm going to make a fist, jam it in here, pinch. Here, and I want to be able to have my armpit right on that foot because if he's because oftentimes what, it, what they'll do is they'll put the boot on so he'll push this foot through here okay? and you can crank this by moving your armpit back of the toes because remember this right here footlock is this professor you putting that in the crank of your arm and you're putting that across the floor Okay. So basically I have this right here. So I'm pushing down here mm -hmm. and I'm pulling up here and I'm cranking it up. Right. It's actually a lock on the Achilles, mm -hmm. less of a foot lock. For a foot lock, you need to have his toes bent forward, meaning straightened out. So for a foot lock, if he's putting on a boot to defend, so it's hard to do this. Look, I oh, needed just one toe in order to push that foot all the way out. So if you're trying to get a foot lock here, okay, I'm not gonna really get an actual foot lock here uh -huh. because his toes are back. So for me to do that, I would have to get my armpit back and slide it over his toes. And now from here. Force his toes to curl. Yeah, because all it takes Straighten out his foot, toes back, it's just this. Yeah, one goes right. all the way, Just what you want. Yeah, <laughs> Look, one goes all the way. one. Yeah, one goes. Where one toe goes, the other toes go too. Right, that's it. That didn't sound. Okay. So you're here. All right. So 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, fist, here, fist, pinch, pinch, and lean back. And that's it. Okay? Because now, in order, if he wants to defend this, he'll sit up and he has to attack my hand. Because you see how I can't finish? But as he attacks my hands, he pulls that foot out. And then you have a heel clip. I know. Okay? I didn't even crank it. Here, 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 or just, it's all heel hook. <laughs> so, so you create what John Daniger calls a dilemma always. So you create a dilemma, you force them to choose. So as we're here, okay, and his feet come like this, I'm thinking, okay, I want the clover leaf, okay, which is where the feet are crossed over. I lean back, he's gonna crank his foot, he will move it, and then I get here. And there's the dilemma. Okay. If he sits up and grabs my arm right here, yeah, he starts pulling this one. So it's hard for me to finish here. There's another dilemma. Okay. And it just it's, <clears throat> this is a real big problem to even get stuck here. So what you're gonna do is you have this position here. I'm gonna shoot this under here. Fist. Down in your fist here, in the back, pinch, and archery. Sometimes they don't even have the opportunity to reach and grab your arms. Got it? Sit up. Right. If he does, right here, and grabs it, you can still finish. He'll have to grab this one. Grab this one. Yeah, because now it's hard to finish. So you're going to have this outside leg here, the right hand, you turn, fist here. I'm finished. <clears throat> if you want to do that one, because yeah, he's going to pull my arm in order to create a space to pull his leg out. So be careful with all these heel hooks. It's a great way to tear me. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. And you guys.